Good morning. Welcome to another freaking vlog where I look like crap because I washed my hair last night and my natural curls are just like, hi, what's up? My hair is all kinds of messed up. But anyway, point is, so the mailman just came and I heard like the door a little thing on my box shut and I was like, Ugh. so I get up and I expect like, you know, bills because that's all that ever comes to this house, bills. Um, and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this just came. Guess what this is? I'll show you. I'm so freaking excited. So excited. Guys, this is, I don't think I've been this excited in so long. I just, I just, listen, this is the 2022 Record Store Day Expanded Edition, two disc, two disc, two vinyl LP, uh, Belladonna, like, this is just, oh, this just, I cannot, I'm gonna open it right now, also, shout out to my friend on Instagram who knew that I went to two different record stores looking for this record store, look at my hair! My hair looks so bad, y'all. Look at it. I'm gonna put some purple shampoo in it next time I wash it. For like 10 minutes of my time. Like, I don't like it. It's too yellow. Ooh. Anyway, um. Shout out to my friend on Instagram who, like, knew I went to two different record stores looking for this damn thing. And one was like, we only carry vintage. I think I said this in the last video. And the other one was like, yeah, I'm just not feeling it this year, I'm not participating, I'm going to burn out on my record store, and I'm like, okay. So, I mean, that's their right, they own it, they can do what they want. So anyway, um, my new friend suggested this record store in Pennsylvania online, helped me out, Jess had to help me, it was like a whole thing. They sent me a sticker. They're called Spin Me Round. So thank you, Spin Me Round Records in Pennsylvania for getting this Ohio girl who's having a rough time trying to find this freaking LP. The LP. So thank you. Um, I appreciate that. And thank you for the great deal I got on it. It was still only $34.98. And on eBay, it was like $107. And I was like, hell no. Listen, I love you, Stevie Nicks. But, um... So, this has got all kinds of, I mean, this has, like, a version of Blue Lamp on it, and Sleeping Angel, and stuff from other records that were not on here, like demos and stuff, so I'm pretty pumped. I cannot wait to get a day to myself, which is really rare, to get on my record player and have the time to do this, which I have to go get ready now, because Jess wants to work tonight, so I don't really have time to myself tonight either shocker um to do this but i can't wait maybe i'll do it like on monday usually we take no i can't do it monday at practice tuesday or wednesday i'll be off and have a whole day to myself so i will definitely take advantage of when i can my hair is driving me crazy i gotta go you guys he brought home the cats are investigating he brought home a cabinet for me for the organizing for the what is it the spare room that I'm organizing I don't know what I'm gonna use it for it might be shoes might be purses we'll see so we did not go door dashing which I'm kind of glad about and we are actually working on my well he was helping we got myself this like locker thing and I'm working on my spare closet room slash garage because there's nowhere to put bikes because we live in an apartment still so yeah but um i'm hoping this thing fits all my shoes i just ordered a shoe rack but i can use it for bags i guess move it down so much for not door dashing i guess we're door dashing 
who we're gonna go eat first. I'm hungry. Okay. Obviously, we went to a party. We had fun. That was glow in the dark golf, or black light golf, black light golf. But we had this machine, and this machine is a Skittles machine. There's all these options of flavored Skittles, and they put it in a bowl for you. But you can get your favorite flavor Skittles, only your favorite flavors in a bowl for five dollars and it's like three whole scoops of skittles i don't know why this was like my favorite thing tonight but my god you ever seen those shows where like they like stereotype musicians and they're like they want whatever skittles in their green room and they only want x color skittles so you gotta pull them all out, or jelly beans, or whatever it is they're talking about. Get out of my Skittles. I always just thought it was so funny for whatever reason. I don't know what the reason is, but I always just thought it was really, really funny. So they had the Skittle, and it did it for you. <gasps> and now they're going back in this bowl, and I'm eating them five-second roll, whatever. I got grape and strawberry. Okay, so today we went to get some food we went to get Chinese it was really good I've been wanting Chinese for like days so I was pretty excited um I got some liquid IVs at the grocery I can't wait to try this tomorrow they're pretty expensive they're like what is it like ten dollars a box for like six. six of them so that's pretty crazy um We'll see if they're worth it. I'm going to try it. It says that they are better than water alone. That they use a cellular transport technology. So I can't wait to see what happens. It says that 75% of people walk around dehydrated. That's pretty scary. Um, then we went to Dollar Tree, of course, because why not? And, um, I got some journaling stuff. I got some stickers because they're leopard. Actually, he found the leopard stickers. Y'all know I love some leopard. And I got two washi tapes. They're just, like, summery. One is just feathers because I love feathers. And one is, like, watermelon and flip-flops and sunglasses and flamingos. I try not to put too much washing tape in my journals now because they start getting like to where you can't close the journal and that drives me completely crazy. So I only do it like on special days. And then uh, we got a bunch of candy, which I do not need. But it's okay because I can cheat on the weekends. Or, you know, like when, when your hormones are like, I need chocolate. I was pissed because the gas station didn't have any cowtails the other day, and so I got a whole bag of them now. And then I got some of these marshmallow twists. I've always loved these things. And um, I was out of serum, face serum, and you can't really beat that. It's uh, like Garnier, so cool. But um, he got like two juices and... He got himself some of these, like, crush-flavored Swedish fish. So that's pretty much it. We really didn't do a whole lot today. I was going to go outside and read because it's beautiful out, but the wind is ridiculous out there. Which is why my hair looks like it does, because we had the windows down in the car. It did look good before that. We went to the flea market. And somebody was letting their Louis Vuitton go for $350 up in there. If I'd have had the money, I'd have walked out of there with that thing. 
all day long. Yeah. Pretty jealous of whoever gets it, though. Okay. So, something I need to talk about on my video that I have been avoiding for two days now. I think it's time, since nobody's home, to talk about it and try to record it without breaking into tears. I just did my makeup, so hopefully I won't, but uh, my heart is pretty freaking broken. You all know that I posted that Winona video and I talked about how much the Judds meant to me and... Man, it's hard to talk about. And how I learned to sing from the Judds and my mom taught me from their music and... If I would get frustrated, she would sit me on top of this trash can lid on, in our trailer. And it was clean. Mom cleaned it all the time. Um, she would sit me on top of it. And she would be like, let's sing, let's sing. And, uh, or if I would get mad, it would be the same thing. Um, the radio sat on top of our kitchen table. And by the time we were done, I was in a really good mood. So two days ago, um, I was already really having a bad day. Um, it was just, it was just a really, it wasn't anything to do with my head. It was just a bad day period. And, um, I was in the bathroom getting ready for my godson's, god nephew, whatever, his birthday party. And, um which I already didn't want to go to because of having a bad day. I just really wanted to go to bed and stay there. Um, and I'm doing my hair and I hear Jesse yelling in here from the couch. And it sounded pretty urgent. And I was like, you know, in my bad mood attitude. And I'm like, what? And I come in here and he's like, And he just reads me the title of the article that basically says, Naomi Judd has died. I gotta try not to cry. I have to go to practice. This is so, so bad. I knew this would be hard to film and hard to talk about. But I knew that you guys would, the people who watch my channel would want to know um so anyway i uh all i could do was walk over to my makeup chair over there and sit down and stare into space for like five minutes because it just is those words didn't quite register in my head Because I'm not going to get into the full story, but let's just say I've wanted to be a musician since I was like three. Since I knew what music was, I knew that's what I wanted to do. And the fact that it's been my world for that long, especially their music, and it was like one of the first people to come into my life, their music. And when I felt like I had nobody, I had music, and that was kind of my go-to. So instead of having family to go to or having somebody to go to to cry, I would just be alone and go and listen to music. So that's why musicians, my favorite ones, whose music that I've kind of been that close to means so much to me because music is like family sometimes and I know some of you don't understand and some of you will and um just like I didn't even talk to my mom about it yesterday because I knew she wouldn't understand it she didn't understand it when I cried when I went to see Winona she's just not that deep of a person she doesn't get that kind of stuff um 
she just kind of sees this and then that's kind of that so I didn't even I didn't even bring it up but um I am obviously torn up about it I'm very sad and you know I um My heart is broken in 50 different places, and I can't believe that I'm living in a world without one of my sheroes, as my Nona puts it. I really can't. Like, I just, it, that's hard for me to compute and to absorb. I just, I'm not sure I can still absorb it. Damn. So stupid. Um, it's not stupid. I just, it's just, it's horrible. And I just pray, and my heart goes out to her family and her friends and her daughters. I just, I'm not even related, and it breaks me, so I can't even understand how broken they probably are. I did get to see her one time from far away at Fanfare in Nashville when I was 14. It was a long time ago. And then a couple of years ago, you know, it was like one of the best days of my life getting to see Winona. So I have this love for them in my heart that I just can't describe. And I just thank them for their music being in my life for my whole life for all but two years of my life. And um, even though my mom doesn't probably understand, I just thank her for putting them in my life because I probably wouldn't even be a musician or going to rehearsal tonight without their influence ever. Um, it's going to take me a long time if I ever get over it. So... I've addressed it, and I probably won't talk about it anymore. At least, I don't know if I will or not. It's like, Tom Petty's gone, Prince is gone, Michael Jackson's gone, and now she's gone, and she was such, everybody that I loved just seemed like such a beautiful soul, you know. Most music, well, most musicians are, um, because they get it. And by it, some of you musicians will know what I mean. But I'm not going to say anymore. All right, I'm going to go. I have to go straighten my hair. I have to get ready. That's it. Good morning. It's Tuesday. Um, I didn't film anything, not even walking to or from practice. Um, you know, it's... Last night was not a good night. For one, my head had been hurting for like three days. There's a combination of reasons why. But now that I've had brain surgery, that thing that, like, controls pressure in your head, like, when the weather changes, I don't have that now. Like, that's broken. And it's everybody I know that's had brain surgery. Um, it's been rough. So, before it storms, every time, my head is like, hell no. Um, so, it sucked. On top of that, I've been sad for a couple days now. Y'all know why. So going back to singing after knowing that fact is is hard too. So it just, like, it was like a double whammy last night. And I was, like, not here for it. Um, that said, thank you for watching my video. Thank you for watching all the videos you've watched. Thank you for liking them. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for supporting me um, for everything y'all do. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.